27 years, I dreamt of you. I craved you. I've missed you. I've seen all of us die. It consumes us from the inside until we don't have a choice anymore. We can't let it happen again. Swear it. If it isn't dead, if it ever comes back, we'll come back too. When the first movie played, and it says the end of chapter one, audiences applauded. They wanted more, so now they're gonna get more. The second chapter starts 27 years later. The losers are summoned and they drop everything they're doing and they go back to Derry. It's about these adults now confronting their deepest fears. And it's not just Pennywise, but it's what he holds over them. The evil in Derry is lurking, so they have no choice but to finish what was started 27 years earlier. No one who dies here ever really dies. But tell me, how is it being back in Derry? Tonally, the movie will feel just like the first one, but we'll crank up the horror aspects of it. Andy's just going for broke as far as scope and scares. There's something otherworldly and magical about rediscovering the child in us. There's this fight to remember how deep those bonds are. With it, Andy put the people first. And as a result, you have an old-fashioned movie experience where you root for the good guys. It's more than just a horror film. It's really a coming-of-age film. There's a handful of moments that will make you not sleep at night. But the rest of it is this gorgeous journey of life and friendship. This movie shows when you get together with your friends, there's nothing you can't accomplish. Pennywise has a craving for the losers. He wants revenge, but it's more than that. He's missed them. Hello? Kate!